We got it all ready. It's the official Chinese box turtle bridge, or it's the Great Wall of China box turtle overpass. Ha, there you go. Oh, look at it, guys, it's working. It's so awesome. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hanging out here with Wapo and Lola and uh, basically just checking in on them. And looks like they're pretty happy in their new enclosure. They seem to settle down. The other iguanas over here, the rhinos, Petra and Petra, don't seem to be bugging them at all. As you know, we also put, oh, some of the Chinese box turtles in here. Um, some of them have actually climbed out and fell out over into this area. And that's gonna be the subject of today's video. I am gonna get to work and I'm gonna create a tortoise bridge. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it. I've got some ideas, but basically I need to make a nice easy way for them to get up and over so they can walk around and enjoy the entire, um, basically the entire habitat. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here today. Uh, plus maybe another little surprise if I'm so motivated. Oh, by the way, look who's here. There's my little Lola. Lola's way up top, hanging out, looking pretty. Yeah, what up? She's saying hello to you guys. Hope you guys are uh, appreciating her being so generous and giving us a little hello. She's awesome. So um, yeah, these guys have been doing well. I'm really happy with it. So this is the last thing I really need to do to tweak it so that we can keep the Chinese box turtles. There's one. Uh, they love all this leaf litter as well. And I got to do something. Maybe I need to do a little bit better water situation for them. So um, we're going to do all that today. And that's what the video is about. So hang out, watch me. I'm going to get right to work now. Well, it's done. What do you guys think? Hey, check it out. Uh, I'm just kidding. This thing's nowhere near done. We are just getting started actually. So what I've been doing is uh, just taking old recycled chunks of cement and I've been stacking them up and it looks ugly now, um, but I've added in some vinyl coated wire that's gonna help the uh, strength of the cement that I mix up and start slathering it all over this. We're gonna create a boulder look out of cement um, so we'll basically do that I'll cover all these chunks uh, like I did with these these were all uh, chunks of cement and I covered them with uh, cement and I can carve it to make it look more natural so we're gonna do that and um, basically we're just gonna keep moving along I've got four bags of cement I may need to go get more but um, I think this will be pretty cool the turtles will be able to come up here and then walk down safely and vice versa. They could come up and over. Um, you know, I'll try and make this as sloped as possible in case one tries to go off-roading, but uh, either way, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, so I can't wait to show you the finished. I don't even know what it's gonna look like. I have maybe an idea in my head, but these things tend to take on a life of their own. So uh, 
we're gonna get back to it folks i am gonna get a drink of water and then i'm gonna mix up some cement maybe put some gravel in there to fill in some of the voids and uh we'll just keep plugging away pretty hot turns out summer florida warm sure is hot inside of these rhinos Now, there she is, my lovely wife. She's gonna get out of here though, but um, I was just showing off. So here's what's happening, people. We uh, covered it all with some cement and I gave it some texture with the paintbrush. And then I'm gonna get all Bob Ross on here, right babe? Oh, gonna make some happy little rocks. And what, what you do is, I was just showing my, my bride. Um, right now it's starting to firm up. I think it needs to dry a little bit more, but what you do is you'll take your trowel and just start to give it definition. You know, you want to make a separation and then I'll have little other little, um, you know, my little trowel. This is a man's trowel. I'm going to get a little tiny trowel. A lady trowel? Well, what, what? I don't know if it's a lady trowel, but it's a bigger trowel, smaller trowel, and it's more flickable. I can kind of carve it. But you see the little textures? We gave, gave it all texture and we got a nice little ramp with little steps. They're going to be able to walk up this nice and easy like, no big deal, no problem. We covered all the chunk cement. We recycled it all, which is why I keep that stuff around. And eventually it's going to look like this. It's going to look, you know, kind of like a little bit rough. What are you doing in there? I thought I pulled you out of there. Get out of there. This is what's going to happen. I'll probably make sure I have to do a count, make sure I have all of these little uh, guys. And then I'm probably going to fill that with cement as well so they can't fall into that but uh good times good stuff this one here i'm gonna bring the level of dirt up so that you know it's not quite the step we're gonna bring it up more it'll be easier for them to get on but you can kind of see it's still curing right now and here's even a natural crack that's occurred and that's fine we don't care about that we're just gonna work with it uh as my buddy mac from baston would say from artistic uh, uh stone company and uh what's it called viewcrete he said, ah, you know, the uglier the better. And he's kind of right about that. You know, you want it to look kind of, you know, leave some exposed chunk concrete. But we're going to bring dirt. We're going to pile it up, slope it up here, fill in this crevasse. And uh, I, I love this part. So I'm going to I'm going to just start messing about and giving it a little, um, you know, giving it a little uh, more texture, uh, more definition. And then we're not going to color this concrete. I would have done that in the mixing process. Uh, I did not do that because what's going to happen is uh, it's eventually going to get mildew on it. It's going to get moldy. It's going to look like this. So it'll all tie in. Okay. And I think this will look really cool. And I guarantee you that these little dudes are going to figure it out and they're going to be walking up, down and over our little uh, causeway. I don't know. Little bridge. Is it a bridge? I don't know. Walkway. Who knows? But it's fun. That's what we're having here, pulpal people. Pulpal people? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm excited. Uh, all right, I'm going to get to work. You guys uh, relax. Watch me uh, carve. Here we go.
All right, people, here it is. Uh, it's just got to dry or cure, and uh, it's kind of cool, right? I mean, let's face it, this was just a pile of rubble earlier on today, and now we actually have a very cool, I think at least, little walkway. Do -do 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 -do. They can walk right up here. Just wander, 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 real nice and easy. They're gonna come on up, up and over, and then back down. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and put some soil in here. We'll mound it up, and uh, I'll probably try and bring it up to here to make it easy for them to just get right up on this. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, this is something that I haven't done in a while, and it's a lot of fun just to kind of turn cement into uh you know something that looks natural so i think it'll blend nicely with the rest of this habitat so they're gonna use the entire habitat which is really cool right so yeah. yeah it's pretty awesome so we got it all ready it's the official chinese box turtle bridge and um it's it or or mountain pass i don't know the uh, chinese the wall of china that's right it's the great <laughs> it's the great wall of china Box turtle overpass. Ha! There you go. Um, good stuff. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna relax, and when we come back, it'll be tomorrow for me, but it'll still be today for you. It's so strange how videos work, isn't it? It's funny. Ah ha ha. Anyway, uh, we'll see if any of these little guys use it. And of course, I'm gonna let Guapa and Lola back out because it should be dry by tomorrow. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow or in a minute. See you in a second. Here we go. Watch. Okay, people, here it is, the finished product. All right, and there's a turtle right there, actually, just hanging out, but that's cool, man. So there's box turtles running around. They now have this cool little ramp. What did we call it? The Great Chinese Box Turtle yeah. Ramp. Yeah, yeah, the Great Wall of Chinese Box Turtle. There you go, and there's a Chinese Box Turtle going down the little hill that I made just using some uh, soil, I, I piled it up, uh, hid the rock, and now they can climb up nice and easy. So they've got places to hide, they've got food to eat. I threw a bunch of earthworms in here to kind of get that soil started, but look, the box turtles are happy. Oh my gosh, there are so many of them. Guapo and Lola are happy. Look at all these guys. Oh, that's so cool. I think there's some back here. Yeah, there's one back here. How many are back there? I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So far, I see one. You see one, so that's seven. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, I see one. Back. So that's seven, eight. Wow. We have one more. There's nine right there by my foot, nine. And let's see if anyone's in here. I don't think so. I think that's everybody. How cool. I'd say this enclosure is pretty much done right so yeah. it's it's now suitable for all the animals living in it um yeah. oh eventually guys you know what i did want to do something different for the water so i'm gonna have to go ahead and do a um wait i'll do something real quick so that these little box turtles will have what they had in the last enclosure we'll use this just a clay flower uh, flower pot base this will be nice and quick and easy and what I like about this oh, is I'll be able to just kind of scrape away some... Look, see guys? Earthworms. Okay. Yeah, I got an earthworm. You want to feed? Here, try and bring one. Try and lead one up and over the ramp, Soph. Uh, come on, find a turtle. All you got to do is show them that worm and it'll come up and over. Try and get it out. This should be fun. Let me know when you get a turtle coming. I'll get you another worm too. So anyway, I'm gonna get a little bit dirty. Just gonna make a simple, a simple place for this thing to rest right underneath this water. Okay, and then look at this. Whoop. We could fill it right up. Oh, that's nice. All right, that'll do for now. And eventually, maybe I'll put um, 
I'll use some pond liner or something and make a little pond for these guys. Oh, come on, Soph, that's awesome. See if you can get this guy. Oh, look, they're all coming. They remember, they like toes, these guys. Come on, guys. Try and see if you can get it all the way over the ramp. This is awesome. Look at these two. Here he comes, come Soph. Come it's a female. Oh, wait, Let hold it closer to it. You gotta really get them up and over. Get her up and over, rather. You're doing good. Watch your toes. This is cool. Oh, oh no, so quick. Oh no. Get that little guy. See if that little guy can go. Hurry, he's fast, so. Oh my gosh, look at this, everybody. So if you're you're a turd hurdler. Oh wow. Oh look at it guys, it's working. It's so awesome. Oh, don't look at my fingers. He's looking at my fingers. I think people get the idea. Go ahead and let him eat it. That is so cool. That is awesome, Soph. Watch your finger. I know. Here, just put it on the ground. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> Jeez, Soph. <laughs> this guy must be hungry. Where are you going? Let's see how they do with this steep cliff. These guys, I'm not so much worried about them flipping upside down. Because they can write themselves pretty easy. A baby cherry head oh, you had to save a berry ch uh, baby, baby cherry head. It was, it was upside down. Oh well, thank you for being on point. She's always taking good care of the animals here at the camp, my little apprentice. So there you go, everybody. A very fun, cool design. Where is he gonna go? I love it, man. Now these guys, as I was saying, I'm really not too worried about them kind of falling down to this area. You see, they do have depth perception. So they can kind of tell, hey, wait a minute, this is kind of, this is kind of steep. Let's see what he does. This is really good stuff. Let's see. Are you gonna just plop right off? Do they like cactus? Sometimes, but let's let that cactus grow, sweetheart. Because they can eat it whenever they want. Oh, look at this, guys. He's actually gonna go for it. Now, eventually, watch this. Whee! <laughs> eventually, these guys are gonna learn that there's an easier way. Believe it or not, turtles and tortoises are creatures of habit. And once, oh, see, they're coming back to their normal lunatic selves. There, you getting little nutty Chinese box turtle? You getting to be my nutty Chinese box turtle? So once they learn uh, that an object exists or that they have uh, a frame of reference for, you know, where the water is, where their habitat is, they kind of lock in and they understand their environment. That's why when, you know, in nature, when we build roads and we build homes and buildings and fragment their habitat, it's tough for these guys to adapt because they adapt slow. But here in captivity, they're gonna get used to this real quick. They're gonna understand this whole thing and I think they'll be really happy. Okay, there you go, everybody. We did it, the enclosure is done. We will get some more things going. I'm sure there'll always be a project or two for us to do, right? Yeah, there's always something. Look at how good you're doing. Wapo and Lola are happy, and now I can rest easy knowing that the Chinese box turtles have access to the entire enclosure. All right, everyone, I'm Kenan. I had fun doing this with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think, what are we gonna do, go to the beach? Yeah, we're gonna go to the beach, guys. I hope you have a great day wherever you're at. Thanks for watching our videos. We'll talk to you soon. So long.